Alright, um, today I was wanting to do a quick review on a uh, new piece that I bought. It's from uh, it's a 6.5 Grindel Upper from Hardened Arms. I noticed that they don't have a whole lot of reviews on uh, YouTube about their stuff and I figured I would spread the, the good news because they have a lot of good just nicely machined products. Um, here's their upper. Full quad rail for the most part, and um, what's cool is it locks back along the receiver back here, so you don't really have to time anything when you install it. I had this one um, put together already. I didn't build it, but uh, that's a nice addition. It's kind of a high-end um, thing that you really won't find on budget hand guards but uh, it's pretty common nowadays but I have a black nitride bolt in here that I got from uh, Mid-South Shooters and it's a type 2 and it let me take it out for you type 2 bolt apparently there's a few different types I don't know the difference but uh, I couldn't find any information about them. But yeah, here's the bolt. Black nitride is uh, really smooth. Like if you run a rag across it, like if you just had a normal low end bolt carrier group, like I have on that Armalite up there, you can feel it and it's a lot rougher. But the black nitride is incredibly smooth, which means it's uh, smooth in the gun. But what's nice about this one, this one wasn't from Hardened Arms, but um, staked gas, staked keys, I guess you, you would call it, but uh, it's uh, MPI tested. I think the, uh, tells me somewhere on here, if I knew what I was doing, I would know where it is. However, they told me it's MPI tested, so I trust it. But, uh, and it's nice parkerized, which I always like that look, but uh, super smooth. And I had a, uh, a company make me a charging handle with my company name on it, but that company no longer exists, but completely ambidextrous. It's kind of like a knockoff Geisley, but uh, I like it. It's really smooth doesn't really wear too much on the sides I mean not not enough to uh, be of any concern but yeah this one's really nice it makes the hardened arms even smoother and I had it in my Armalite and uh, I just hadn't hadn't got around to buying another one so I'm kinda switching out the charging handles when I switch uppers I hadn't shot the hardened arms yet but I uh, found at Cabela's that uh, the 6.5 Grendel ammo is it's like 24 cents a round. It's if you uh, get the like the Wolf surplus, and uh, that's 100 grains. But I ended up getting some Hornady Black. This was like 24 dollars a box, which is it's not that expensive. I mean, in all actuality. It's a 123 grain ELD match. Decent stuff. And uh, 65 Grindel really doesn't get a whole lot of love. So I'll show you what the round looks like. It's a pretty, pretty little thing. Here is uh, it compared to the 223 556. So it's obviously shorter, fatter, bigger round. It's uh, basically a cheap way to get like a sub AR-10 without spending all the extra money on AR-10 parts because AR-10s are wicked expensive um, and there's plenty of videos showing the lethality of a 6.5 Grindel on, uh, for hunting with a bunch of people taking him for elk which is I don't see elk so I don't know how tough they are to hunt however that uh, seems like quite the big job for something like this but 
I went down to my local shop and got a 6.5 Grindel magazine. The, uh, the main difference between, because I use the same magazines, but the main difference that I was thinking is I could just like maybe 3D print a follower, but I figured out that the, the nose of the magazine is slimmer. And so that's why you have to buy a new magazine body. You can't just buy a follower. But there, I mean, this one was like $17 for metal, which isn't bad at all. Um, but I have a Trijicon ACOG up here. That's uh, my go-to site right now. And I found this pretty sweet dog on Amazon. And it's basically a knockoff Atlas bipod. Same mechanisms, but for about 40 bucks. And the system itself is uh, pretty fail-proof just because of how the button system works. You can see how it clicks in. And so atlases are about $300, depends on what model you get, but uh, I wasn't gonna pay $300 for a bipod that I don't use for competition. And so went ahead and spent 50 bucks, and this one's still in nice construction. It uh, swivels real nice, but the only thing I have noticed is that right there, that play. And you can see it's it's right in that spacer right there. But um, one thing that I did mod with this fella was uh, this cap under here. When you would swivel it back and forth, it would totally screw loose. And so some redneck ingenuity I figured I'd throw onto it. And I cut rubber sealers and I twisted it in there and so it gives it more external pressure or internal pressure excuse me to uh, push up against this and so it actually holds it in place a lot better so I am not going to be able to get that back together freehand but they have also a mock American defense mount that actually works pretty similarly but it's a machine out of aluminum instead of uh, their steel I think they use but hardened arms yeah I have a an ALG defense which is a sister company of Geisley so it's Geisley oversees their their systems and so I figured it's high quality and uh, not the Geisley price so the trigger, real nice, sits at three pounds right now with the purple springs that they put in there. So I could run this very fast if I need to, and uh, this is going to be my designated hog gun when I get another stream light to put on here. But uh, that is that. And if you're curious about this fella here, this is just my 223. The uh, rail company no longer is is in existence I traded off a strike eagle to get this rail for a fella nice slim M lock I can get a full grip on it and uh, have my little stream light here I really like this fella um, just because it's it sits right here and you can hit it like that or just momentary but uh, yeah, I got my little VXR up here from Leupold, American Defense Mount. I love that thing. It's super quick. But uh, I have about 4,000 rounds through this fella. Very nice, very nice. But uh, that is uh, what I got going right now. I have an ACR in the closet, and I bought it because of the modularity of caliber conversions, but then coming to this conclusion there's a lot more modularity when it comes to switching uppers and with lowers on the AR platform than there is with the forgotten ACR and so I'll probably end up getting rid of that ACR I don't know yet I've kind of beat it up too much but we shall see but uh, yeah that's hardened arms I really like them the uh, bolt carrier group 
was $89 plus $10 shipping, so under 100 bucks basically to get a black nitride bolt. And then um, the upper was shipped for $398, which is a pretty decent price. And so all in all, I had uh, about under $500 for a decent, decent upper. And um, there's plenty of pictures on their website of testimonies from customers with the accuracy. This is just a 16 inch barrel. I wanted to keep it a little short. I was sort of torn between the 18 inch and the 16, but um, I feel like the 16 will be just fine for hitting hogs under 200 yards, so we'll see. I do plan on changing the uh, flash hider up front to uh, have a supplier that can get me this real cheap. This is a uh, sort of a, a knockoff of someone's, but I have my supplier. He gets me these for $22. They are incredibly cheap, and uh, you can see the steel is not that great. It sort of corrodes, but um, really big gas ports, two backward-facing ones. You can kind of see how they tilt backwards, and um, you can shoot this thing with hardly any recoil. Um, I just need to get him to make me a bigger port because that port is uh, substantially smaller. But they make them. And so that'll be the muzzle brake that I will be using for the 6.5 Grindle. And then I was really thinking about getting rid of the quad rail, but um, I don't know. I was thinking about putting some Magpul plate covers on it and uh, just calling it a day because quad rails are pretty uncomfortable to uh, a human hand and so I don't know but, uh, but yeah that's the hardened arms and uh, I'll do some videos of me, uh, me shooting it for accuracy and see what it's all about anyways if you have any questions about it please uh, please leave them in the uh, comments and I'll do my best to answer them to my fullest extent alright thanks for watching